there's actually one personality type that is better than all of the others. That is a combination of all 16 personality types into one person. You can think of it like this. Each personality type has certain weaknesses and strengths. Depending on who this person is, how they're growing up, they will develop certain strengths and traits that are different from the other personality types. So for example, INFJs are very good at you know being psychologists, uh, understanding why someone does what they do from a very emotional perspective, and so many of them go into you know counseling or therapy later on in their lives. Whereas other types, for example, ENTJs, they're very direct, they're very um, assertive with the way that they speak, with the way they conduct business and interact with other people, and so they get a lot of things done in a very quick, uh, short amount of time. And so they're more suited towards, you know, business or, you know, business sales, CEO, kind of like that spectrum. Depending on what these traits are that you see in other people, because each and every single person has a certain personality type, you want to look at the kind of strengths and weaknesses that they portray, and then instead of differentiating yourself from them, you want to look at the strengths that they have that you don't. And then you want to incorporate those strengths into your own personality type, along with who you are naturally as a person. So for example, if you have trouble speaking up, right? Let's say you're kind of shy, you get nervous around people when you're interacting with them. You want to mirror someone who does not have trouble speaking to other people. So for example, like an ESTP or an ESFP, because their strengths are outgoing and being sociable. At the same time, if let's say you are an ESTP or an ESFP, you might be a little bit impulsive with the way you conduct yourself. And so if you find that that is an issue for you, then you want to mirror someone who is more grounded. So for example, um, an INTJ or an INFJ. So there is, n so, so there really is no best personality type, but there is the personality type that you can encompass in your daily life. You want to take um, the strengths that you see from other people, incorporate them into yours, and then in the end, what you should get, uh, the desired outcome would be a person who has a balance of all 16 personality types, perfectly balanced, and so they have no weaknesses, but all the strengths. And that, my friend, is the best personality type, and it's something that we should all be aiming towards. Anyway, hope you got a lot of value out of this video. As always, you can see I found a new spot to shoot this video. It's a pretty nice garden. Um, yeah. Make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.